between Holly Holm and Chris Cyborg. Well, it's amazing to think what could have been and how long it took Chris Cyborg to finally get to the UFC in 2016. Largely, she has made up for lost time. This is as intimidating a physical freak of nature as we have in the women's game. How do you make up for lost time? You put a stamp on everything that you do. And that's what Chris Cyborg did from winning the UFC title, even going all the way back to strike force. Cyborg was already considered one of the greatest mixed martial artists in the world. You know when you watch a Cyborg fight. You're about to watch brutality. And until Amanda Nunes matched that, everybody else just folded. Chris Cyborg is a dominant force of nature, and she will look to show that this evening. She had an unbeaten streak from 2005 to 2018. It will go down in history as one of the greatest runs the women's game has ever seen. All right, here she is, and still one of the best Bantamweights or Featherweights on this UFC roster, Holly Holm. She has had Mike Winklejohn in her ear since she was 16, 17 years old, and she still believes she is adding layers to her striking game and getting better like a fine wine. Holly Holm is the type of fighter that the canvas is completely open to painting on. Holly Holm was the 2012 Female Boxer of the Year. Crazy. Then after all that time away from boxing, she then becomes the UFC champion and does that with a variation of skills, not just boxing. As you see in the Megan Anderson fight, when things got tough on the feet, she had an ability to take it to the ground and use her grappling to win that fight. But the biggest moment was the knockout of Ronda Rousey when she was a massive underdog to capture her first UFC championship. Maybe the most signature win in UFC history for any man or woman and one of the best highlights you will ever see. Holly Holm looking for more where that came from here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Christiane Cyborg Justino. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go, UFC Women's Featherweight Division. Round one now underway between Holly Holm and Chris Cyborg. There was a lot of good out of Holly Holm in the first meeting, so try to build upon that here tonight. She will need to build upon that. She showed a lot of toughness in that fight, but she has to get the respect of Chris Cyborg. She was never able to land anything that made Chris pause. She has to do this in this rematch. Big leg kick land. Ooh, what a punch. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. Liver kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. 
big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice punch there by Seibel. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand on point. Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Right hand punches the clinch. Big punch to the clinch. Oh, nice. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh. the finish. Oh, nice jab. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice diversity in the attack. Holm gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. There's no give on that leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problems. Visibly limping here. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, the right hand is there for her. there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. How good is that right hand? Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she's driving that baseball bat, right into the thigh where she wants to land. And now her opponent is limping. Her opponent's wounded. Her opponent's injured. And now watch the targets be way more stationary. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. So 52 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. Oh. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Cyborg's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Can't take many of those, you better check. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. And they set. Beautiful body kick. Nice right hand. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Ooh, big shot lands. That's a really strong leg kick there by Holm. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Round two next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get you the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful That's knockdown. Correct.
Just a split there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Cyborg gets caught with that punch. Oh, Superman punch lands. Right punches there. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Cyborg. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good. Oh, man, look at her handiwork there. Beautiful straight punch. And now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Cyborg gets hit with a kick. Oh! She kicked. Kick checked nicely by Cyborg. Oh, straight right. Cyborg gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Nice punch lands over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. She's starting to put together some body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Crowd on its feet, a near perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 55 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Chris Sample. Well, you see.